All right, so for episode, or topic four, rather, Marvel just released that Ant-Man was going to have a sequel, but along with that, they announced that there's going to be three unnamed Marvel movies in 2020, so we're going to discuss what we think they're going to be. So what do you think, for the first one, what do you think it's going to be? Wait, so there's going to be three in a single three year? Three in a single year. They're... So probably two summer and one, like, November? Uh, it might be, like, one in February, and then... I think they put dates on it, but I didn't really. I was just. I don't think the dates really matter as much. And Thor Ragnarok's already been confirmed. Yeah. Okay, okay, so it's not going to be that because Th- Thor has pretty much chewed up that November slot for a, <laughs> for a while. He's he's had it like every movie. Um, do you want me to go yeah, first? You can go first. Oh God, now I have to remember who I had. No, you <laughs> okay, go first. I'll, okay. I have to rethink. I have to rethink. Right, I'm starting with Guardians Three. Is going to happen. What about uh, two's, two's already, already announced. announced? Yep. Okay. And then I also have. Are we, are we going to be tired of the Guardians by that point, though? Um, I think it depends if they try to. No one's ever going to get tired of Rocket Raccoon and Groot. You could almost guarantee. I can, I can get. Okay, tired you of might. Them. Okay, the, the public <laughs> isn't going to get tired of them. Um, uh, Chris Pratt's basically untouchable right now as an actor, so. Yeah, I know. It's fucking so, awful. I mean, he's – it's most likely going to happen. I mean, I guess that's kind of an easy choice to pick. Now, what I'm thinking is it has to – they have to – I think it's too early for them to say that because we don't know how the Guardians are meshing up with the Avengers. We don't know how that, that dynamic is going to play out. That's true. Because if you have Rocket Raccoon talking to fucking Tony Stark about what bourbon, bourbon they like to fucking drink <laughs> – uh, I don't. It's gonna be weird. I don't know. So I think we need to see how it plays out before they announce a third. They movie. might not even be in Infinity Wars. I heard. I mean, they probably will be, but I've heard that they might not be. So, again, I don't know how many. Like, obviously, I don't know contracts of the actors, but I'm sure they hired Chris Pratt for more than two movies. I would assume since he's fucking in everything now. I mean, I guess not everything is in Jurassic World. Unless, unless he starts a, a three-movie deal with for fucking Indiana Jones. <laughs> but for... He's too busy. I feel like they do sequel or th- not sequels, they do trilogies for, like, all their movies, so that might just be too easy of a choice. <laughs> so I didn't really go on the edge by guessing Guardians 3, which I guess for my second choice, I picked Spider-Man 2, which is also not living on the edge. Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man. <laughs> Can you even count it as 2? <laughs> I, well, I meant Spider-Man 2 in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I guess. What, what's Spider-Man 1? His Infinity Wars? No, he, there's a Spider-Man 1 in like 2000. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I think. Or 17. Yeah. So th- okay. there's probably going to be a sequel to that, which I guess not living on the edge again. But this is where I'm going, living on the edge. Plan- what's, your, what's your plot idea for that for movie? For Spider-Man 2? Yeah. I, it depends on who... Because it would be a solo one, Yeah, right? solo. But, I mean, okay. some of the Marvel characters are going to be in it, but probably, like, cameos and small shit like that. But it depends who the first villain is. I want to see another Dr. Ock, because I loved Spider-Man 2's Doc Ock. He was fucking... I loved that character. And I, you didn't like him? Okay. Ugh. No, I, I think a lot of people like him. I, I, I don't know. I just... The second I heard the man boobs joke, I was just like... <laughs> Kind of weird, but it. I heard <laughs> plus his his whole like poetry bullshit. Like some of those, some of uh, those movies, I, I liked them. And Sam Raimi did a good job with the first two. And I think we liked them more because we were younger too. <laughs> so it was just like yeah. we get to see Spider-Man. Plus, like the CGI was like wicked good back in like oh one yeah. or whatever year that came out. Oh two. It it really depends who the first villain is though. I feel like they're not gonna go with Lizard. Most I don't know any of Spider-Man's. No, they're not gonna. They probably wouldn't go with Lizard or. Green Goblin. And they, well, they're gonna do they, Green Goblin most likely, but probably not yeah, the first one. They'll like the they'll set, set them the, up, but not have Spider Man Two One kind of fucking. I I like the idea, but then that whole movie kind of like caved in on itself. So they kind of defeated that. Plus the Sam Raimi first one was. It's not like you're gonna get somebody that plays the Green Goblin as good as Willem Dafoe. <laughs> like it's true. I, I heard. Know. I heard or not heard. I read this. It's official. Brian Cranston wants to be in the MCU like officially. That'd be cool. I, he, I also read that he wants to, them to make a... That's Modoc. I heard they want him to make them a, him a character. Like, make his own character. I don't know if that's just, like, a misquote or something. Like like the Arkham Knight? Like the Arkham Knight, yes. But I could see him being, like, a... He'd probably be better at, like, a kingpin or something, but they already have a kingpin 
but he could play like a green goblin. That's given that that's given that the Netflix d- Kingpin transfers over to the movie. Well, no, because those are the same I universe. I don't even I don't even know if we're gonna get the. I want to see the Daredevil fight again with Captain America at some point. I want those two. They were together, saying but... something like it's definitely possible for them to be in it, but obviously that they're not gonna be like, no, it ain't happening. You know, everything's yeah, possible. Yeah, exactly. So I guess <laughs> that's not a good point brought up by me, but I feel like. It's it's definitely probably will happen. Might because our main concern has to be that we can't oversaturate and over flood these movies. Oh yeah, because Infinity Wars is going to be fucking. We yeah we crazy. fucking scared away Joss Whedon, King God of the Nerds. We we scared away. <laughs> nope. So we can't. It, it can't be that much. But I feel like we Infinity to... Wars one is just going to be like all the new characters they're doing this time, and then somebody's going to die off, and then like Hulk's going to come. Hulk will probably come back for part two, so he can. He's probably going to be the one that kills Thanos, I would assume. Yeah, it's going to be a team well, effort. Yeah, if but they, like, if they even kill but him. they're going to. I don't see them killing him. I see him like locking him away or something. Oh well, yeah, probably. But like, they're def- Hulk's definitely not going to be in the first part. I would assume he's going to be like the cavalry coming in for part two, probably with like yeah. Iron Man yeah. or something. Well, where's Iron Man? I'm though? assuming like maybe part one. He's going to be like, I'm just going to be like the new Nick Fury that like, I'm in charge. I'm not going to fight or anything because he's he's. I mean, I guess he's going to fight in Civil War, but I feel like he's going to take like a... I thought he wasn't going to fight after three, and here we are. That's a valid point, too, but there's no way they're going to have all the original six fighting in that movie. No. So Hawkeye's still running out of his course. <laughs> he he <laughs> well, had a good story needs... arc in Age of Ultron, though. Widow needs to get some sort of... Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna come back to that <laughs> one year. All right, so... That, that's pretty much... I, I forget who my other solo movie was that I had. I could try to pull up the list again and see if I can re-trigger that that idea, but I do have another idea that I can... Like, so, uh, for my third one, I think they're going to do Planet Hulk. Wait, 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 hold okay. on. You never you never said your uh, your idea for the the Spider-Man 2 plot. I don't, know, you said, I don't know exactly the plot, but I'm saying it against Doc Ock, because... Is that where we... Is that where we so, you want to leave the first one with Doc no, Ock? I want the second one to be Doc Ock. I don't know who the first... Or, or do you think they would do the Sinister Six real quick? They might do. I think Suicide, or it's not. I think Sinister Six movie, because I think Sony still wants to do that. I think that depends on how Suicide Squad does. So if Suicide Squad sucks, which it probably won't, then if Sinister Six probably won't happen. Okay. But they yeah, they would also have to set up the Sinister Six over a few movies, so that probably wouldn't be for a long ass time, I would assume. Yeah. But it, I heard that they're also going to have Spider Man's. Like every movie is going to be like first one's going to be freshman year of high school, second sophomore, junior, senior, like four movies. The poor kid never gets out. <laughs> he never leaves high school. <laughs> he never gets out. But I mean, uh, Spider Man has like the best villains, I would say, uh, if you're not counting the X Men, because Magneto's probably the Vex. Because the Vulture is just so cool. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, Doc Ock's cool. Lizard's cool. Craven. I don't know who Craven is. Venom is. He's a hunt. He's the hunter. Venom dude. can can be considered a villain. So can Carnage. Okay, that's what that's what I want for. The, that's what I was trying to get you to. Oh. Was, I, I want to get the second movie. I want a Venom Carnage. Oh, yeah, you were saying that team up because that would be. See, I don't awesome. know if that's even though even though it's three Spider Men fucking flailing around. I mean, that's kind of. They awesome. also that would be hard to. And then what if you what if you do the the part where Venom and Spider Man have to team up? So I guess you might have to establish Venom earlier, but. Still, if they had a team up with those two, like good guy, oh, the bad guy teams up temporarily with them for the good guy. I mean, that's a cliche. But, <laughs> um, Carnage is just fucking pure chaos, and I there's not enough. See, I don't know if up. that would be the second movie. I could see that being like a third or something like that, because that'd be hard to. How do you set up Carnage and Venom in the first movie? Like Marvel's capable of doing it, obviously, but that's still. A lot to set up without oversaturating it like the... Well, is this going to be under the Marvel banner or the Sony banner? I, I, I'm assuming... This, is, this probably isn't live, like living on the edge, but I'm assuming Spider-Man 1 is going to be a success. It's... So there's going to be a Spider-Man 2, and I believe that they have like a multi... What's the first one under? The first one's a Marvel and Sony joint effort, So, but I think oh, Kevin okay. Feige has like... There's like Is it a joint effort or did, Mar- or did Sony lease out the rights to... It's a joint... I think... Marvel. There's somebody at the head of Sony, and then there's Kevin Feige, who both have a say on like what happens and how like what the final say is. But I think I'm not 100 percent sure. I think that Kevin Feige has like the final final say, since he's doing okay. everything right. And if he has the final, oh, everybody, everybody tweet Kevin Feige. <laughs> if he has the final say for it, then it's most likely going to be a good movie. You would assume, 
Unless it's just Josh Whedon all these years just carrying the load. But I can't imagine that. No, um, it's the Coen brothers doing the next, they did Civil War, right? Uh, Russo brothers. The Russo brothers. They did. Yeah, I, I saw a trailer for some movie uh, for the Coen brothers. I was like, is that them? <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, I, I definitely want to see a Venom and Carnage movie, like working with Spider-Man, obviously, or against Spider-Man. It, it would be. I want to see Venom and Spider-Man team up against. I Carnage. also heard, but but have like the first part be Venom, have be the an antagonist as well. I also heard that Miles Morales is rumored to be in the first Spider-Man movie, which is weird. I mean, I guess he can just show up as a separate Spider-Man. I don't, they didn't. I didn't. They didn't really say. Just like that, Sony. He's, he's the he's the ultimate. Yeah, he's the other Spider-Man. So I don't know if they just have him. Well, like, which which other Spider-Man? Like the 2099 one or the the ultimate? He's. Universe? I'm not exactly. They didn't really say. I want to say he's. Ult- I the think ultimate. he's ultimate. But they didn't really say what his role is going to be. I mean, he'll probably just show up and be like, oh, hey, Miles, or something stupid like that. He... Yeah, like Flash Thompson was in the fucking other movies. Yeah, it's just not, nothing too huge, but leaving him there. That's, that, that's, my, that's my most upsetting part about that is because I wanted Venom. I wanted another Venom. Because yeah. people argue that they fucked him up the first time. He looked good CGI-wise, but the whole Topher Grace face <laughs> thing kind of fucking sucked. But, but, so I was pumped to see like a, a good version. But it's definitely... They Sony is wants to they wanted to make all these movies before Amazing Spider Man two bombed, even though I don't think that was a terrible movie. It was just not It wasn't people were like, <laughs> it didn't live up to Marvel's standards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it couldn't compete. I, I always wonder if Marvel's like sitting in their offices or whatever watching like X Men being like, It's about time, like <laughs> one of these days it'll fail <laughs> and it'll come back to us. <laughs> yeah. The ama- the Amazing Spider Man ones kinda of felt like the Transformers thing, like when I know people give them the fight scenes in Transformers kind of shit, but like that first movie where you saw like the you saw the trailer where Starscream was like whipping around a bridge and transforming in the middle of it, you were like, Oh my god. <laughs> like that looks so cool. So like the fight scenes and everything were cool, but then like when you when you go to the Sam Witwicky and Megan Fox uh part of the Amazing Spider Man movies where it's Gwen and Spidey, which I I love that relationship. They but... played perfect roles. It's just like some something yeah, about the movie, but it was still right. it was still like it was still like fifteen minutes of the running time was like gibberish. <laughs> like I, 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 he's just I, nervous. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of, yeah. The first time maybe, <laughs> but he did it. He did it when he asked her the, to the date. She kind of did it when like she asked her the, him to come over and have scambrizi or whatever the fuck that fish name is. I don't know. I don't know fish. <laughs> And then they did it when they did the first kiss, and then they fucking uh, pro- they probably did it when he threw her out the window. Like I don't, I don't know why it seems like every <laughs> Spider-Man movie they try to fit in like multiple villains, which is just so weird. Yeah, I think the sweet spot, at least in the Marvel MCU, I think the sweet spot has to be three, three, three either protagonists or three central characters. So like a of Spider Man Venom Carnage or the Civil Wars, uh Captain America, Black Widow, Sam Wilson. Yep. Right, Sam Wilson. Uh, you mean it's Civil Wilson. uh Winter Soldier? Yeah. Yeah. That's so three, 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 three. I mean like and then then you can have these Avengers ones that are like two parts yeah. or whatever the hell you have to do. Honestly, Age of All Ultra probably should have been two parts. Probably. As much as yeah. we don't want to pay that much money to see movies, but it should have been probably. I, I would have loved to have seen his full script. Yep. Get him into action. Or um, just make it longer. I mean, everyone would yeah. sit at those yeah. movies. So make it a two part, and then you can throw in fucking six to eight fucking people. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Have a party. I don't. If, I don't care. Just if they don't have don't have Mark Ruffalo fall on this guy Johansson's tits. If, That's my dream. If they were ever like, oh, the Marvel or Avengers movie is going to be four hours, I'd be like, all right, <laughs> I'll fucking sit and watch that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> are we all? Are we doing it at one time? Do we have an intermission where we have a pee break? Like I don't. I don't even care. I'll fucking. I'll, I just won't get there's soda. Peop, there's people care. that go to like those all night marathons and like before the Avengers came out, they had like every Marvel movie and people went and watched all of them. No thanks. I, no thanks for that <laughs> much. But like, if they made like a three or four hour Avengers movie, I'm not. How many people plan their nap time around the first one, uh, <laughs> first Captain America? That's true. Po- good point. But like, would I'll recharge? Would you, right? Would here. you be pissed if they were just like Avengers three four hours? <laughs> Probably not. I'd be pissed. Nope. <laughs> it's like. Give me as much as you fucking want as long as it's good and not dragged out. The only thing I don't like about Marvel movies is they don't have a good villain. Loki's a good villain, I guess. Age of Ultron. He was Ultron was alright. He was the second he, best. Yeah, second best, but that's not really saying well, much. That's yeah, compared <laughs> to Malekith and 
Red Skull was underwhelming. Uh, who, who else? Crossbones, I guess. He's he wasn't really. He's not even Crossbones. He wasn't cross- I guess. I guess. Uh, what's the Mandarin. The Mandarin were great. No. <laughs> no uh, who played the uh, the guy in Witcher Soldier? Robert Redford. That's yeah, but... it. Basically, Robert Redford. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any like defining villains, and that's like one. That's the biggest weak point in that whole like MCU. I would say. Because they they have Loki and it's because when you have a solo movie you have to it's it's weird like what do you what do you do do you have because like say I throw Captain America who's his best villain I, I think it's Red Probably Skull Red yeah. Skull right yeah so then you have to go back to World War Two which is already a problem um it's just weird and then like so do you have a movie where he doesn't get the bad guy <laughs> and that's where it resolves <laughs> like. I'm flying this plane into the thing, but yeah, I don't know if it's get that fight scene where I beat him ten minutes ago. I don't know if like I don't know if it's how they defeat him or anything like that because Loki was defeated two two or three times at this point, and he's still fucking awesome. I think yeah. it's like the betrayal of the character more so than because they they yeah, but then they also consider that a plot hole. Like I, I think Screen Rant did a video where it's like a plot hole where. Uh, they do that tease at the end of Avengers where Loki like is walking down and sees the staff and shit. It's like. Shouldn't he have been like? <laughs> didn't he disappear into the ether? But they or something? they make so know. many cookie cutter like villains. It's just like the same thing over and over again. And that's the thing about movies, though, is like they always have that thing where like they're always kind of predictable. And if you want like something innovative, you have to go to Netflix or you have to go to a, an indie developer or well, not developer, an indie uh, like produ- uh, d- director and stuff like that. You know, like. I don't know, people that take chances. The big the big studios aren't going to take Chance, that's chances. That's true. And, and they cater more to the general populace as opposed to the f- hardcore fan base. But it's just weird because, like, think of, like, Iron Man 1, Cookie Cutter. You could replace him for... Well, Iron Man, you also have to give a pass because it was, like, the thing that that's, set everything that's, in That's motion. a good point, but... And I, I was also like, I don't think that's a villain. <laughs> I don't think that's a guy in the comics. I think he was... I think. What was it? Ebedi- yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's been so long since... E- Ebediah Stain. I, I think. think it was something Which like is... that. I think he was in the comics, but I don't think he had a mech suit. <laughs> but, like, you could... Re- I, was, I, was, I was like, is that their whip? <laughs> like, I don't... That's, he doesn't have whips. Like, I don't know what they're doing here. You... So, like, I know that at that point they didn't have a villain. So, you kind of have to get past on that. Iron Man 2, they should have done way more with Whiplash, because I considered Whiplash one of Iron Man's better ones but like the mandarin that was mandarin was a fucking joke yeah. uh the villain <laughs> i don't care if you get the guy pierce the guy from memento i don't care <laughs> if you get him he's not the mandarin he breathed fire out of his mouth and i was like eh. <laughs> <laughs> but like the ant-man villain cookie cutter he could well i no one knows jack shit about the, the, the ant-man to... and honestly honestly you would probably that's yeah. That's the thing. I think the I think the argument you're getting to is it's not like a cookie cutter villain. It's like an almost exact replica, yeah. replica of the of the main protagonist, just evil. Well, but I <laughs> oh, mean, you got Ant Man. What's another bug version? We you can, can have? replace the, uh, the Ant Man villain with the Civil or not Civil War, the Winter Soldier villain or the Iron Man one villain. They're all basically the same. Yeah, I know. If you're gonna have a universe, you might as well dip in other ones. But uh, maybe not for the. I don't know. It's so weird because I know why they don't do it. It's weird. It's like, why? Well, no, people don't know shit about Ant-Man, really. So why would we stray them away from like what's actually, I guess. what actually happened? I don't know. It's it's weird. So what else do you think is going to be one of the movies you said? All right. I, do, I, I forgot what my... Well, I had like one solo one. Wasn't I forgot it Black Widow? I, I want to be... Well, that's where I'm getting oh. towards. But Sorry. I think it's too late for a Black Widow solo because they already did the scene in Age of Ultron. And Scarlett Johansson's on her what, like sixth movie? <laughs> so have too I don't much Scarlett Johansson. I, I I know she would probably. Oh no, I know what too much Scarlett yes. Johansson. <laughs> yeah, I can. Yeah, never, never. But I don't. I know she'd probably be up for doing a solo movie, but I just think it's the timing's too late. She and might not have much of a backstory. I, they need to, they they kind of need to rectify how they treated her in Age of Ultron a little bit. Even though I don't, I think people overreacted a little bit, but I, they do have. Very solid points. Like they, I mean, you, you. I think you sat next to me during that movie, and I was just like, "Oh, <laughs> fucking!" Every scene with her is like, "Hulk, I should have fucking jacked you off in the fucking shower." Like, the I was like, "Oh, <laughs> whoa!" <laughs> huh? How the zucchini? 
<laughs> yeah, like what the fuck was that line? <laughs> Come on, Tony. Jesus, that's a good line. <laughs> it was a fun. It was. I guess it was a good Tony also, Stark line. <laughs> I guess if you want to play that Tony Stark is a dick. <laughs> Cause like, you know, if somebody said that about like his relationship with Pepper, he'd probably beat the living fucking shit True. out of him. He'd, he'd summon the Hulk buster just to fight like fucking Sam Wilson. <laughs> what, was, what was that, Sam? You're not even on the team. <laughs> so like that wasn't, it wasn't fair. The whole falling to the boobs thing. And, uh, anyway, we're getting off topic. What was my topic? Your what was soul my movie. Topic? Okay. Well, it's it's too late for Black okay. Widow. I do. I wish they they just said it. But what I would like to see, if it's too late for a Black Widow solo movie, what it might. I don't think there's any comic basis, maybe. But what if they had a Birds of Prey type thing, but in the Marvel MCU? Is Birds of Prey is that DC? That's the all female. That's like Oracle. Oracle running the team of Black Canary, Huntress, all the female like so badass. Kind of like chicks. a female Avengers, but not Avengers. Yeah. What? Yeah, what if they had? That? I don't know, like Black Widow running the show with Wasp. If they did like a smart, uh, like a three person team, like you were saying, I could see that. But I don't think they don't have that many strong female characters. Because and is that a problem? <laughs> is that a bit of a problem? Probably. I mean, if they had access to like Storm and Jean Grey and okay, well, okay. obviously that's not a possibility. <laughs> Could you introduce Lady Thor, maybe? Or is that too obscure? I feel obscure? like you have to kill off Thor to... Inf- Scarlet Witch is already oh, in there. I forgot about Scarlet You could do like a nice... So, there, so there's your there's your three, uh, but I'd like to add more, honestly. You'd have it. Captain Marvel to play with, which she's kind of over... Oh. I mean, I guess Scarlet Witch is overpowered, so that's a... Who cares? You're going to have Superman running the Justice League? Who the fuck cares? That's why Superman doesn't do well. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to watch a guy that's super powered. Like he could do well, right? I don't know. <laughs> they haven't done it yet. And he's the, their big character other than Batman. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That, that's what the, that, they haven't written Captain Marvel because she's too overpowered. <laughs> what about a spider Gwen? They, a spider, like a spider woman? I'm guessing that's what that is. No, Spider Woman's different. Spider Gwen's like in in an alternate version. Uh, I think it was like I want to say like Peter died or something. Something happened. I think Gwen lived and she became or like and then Peter died and she became a Spider Gwen. Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of weird. But like the co- you should look up that costume. The costume's mad cool, I- but it wouldn't fit into the universe. I'm just I'm just throwing out like I just want to. I'm thinking of people that like we haven't seen that would be cool to see like. Evangeline Lilly as Wasp is going to be awesome, yep. and she's also a founding member the of Avengers. Well, well, in the comics, yeah. So, so maybe I, I was saying Black Widow should be the leader, but maybe it should be Wasp, and Black Widow will be like the the, the, the second in yeah. command, like like a badass spy. Like she gets back to her. Like I don't want to see her turn into a killer or anything, but like I don't know, you yeah, know what I mean. But I maybe I was thinking maybe like Nova or something, but I feel like he might he might just join like the Guardians or something like that. Yeah, he. Yeah, that would be a Guardians two, Guardians three like, thing. Nova's Nova's mad cool. They name dropped the Nova corpse in Guardians one, but he might yeah. not be strong enough to have his own movie. I guess. Then there's like Adam Warlock, maybe. But then again, that might just be another Guardians thing. But I feel like they might want to branch out into like their space characters to expand the universe. I guess yeah, because you got to set up for Thanos, because that's probably where the fight's gonna happen. Well, the 2020 movies are after Thanos, so they can really do anything they want. I was thinking, there's like, yeah. there's obvious stuff, like, I know I named obvious stuff, but there's other obvious stuff like Black Panther 2, probably, Doctor Strange yeah. 2, but I wanted to, like, mix it up. Hopefully not on Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, don't, I still don't care. He's probably going to be I'm good, because getting... Bender, what's his name, Cumberbatch? Benedict yeah, Cumberbatch, yeah, he's, he's really good, but people people also get tired of him a little bit. I mean, he was good in Black Mass and shit. I didn't even realize that was him in Black Mask. <laughs> or Black Mask, Black Mask. I know I did afterwards, but I was... <laughs> Okay. But I was thinking maybe like a Planet Hulk movie is a possibility. Yeah, Cause there's... yeah we've, kind of, we've kind of thought about that before. And then you can introduce like a Red or Hulk a She-Hulk. or She-Hulk. Yeah. And then that could play towards my uh, Birds of Prey team. I feel like a She-Hulk might be like a Netflix original or something like that though. Yeah, maybe the second round. Because I think like they're – I think the second round. Because I think she – honestly, I think she's kind of a – there's a way to do it. I mean if they're doing this – if they're doing a Supergirl entire TV show – like I, I don't even know what Supergirl's job was. <laughs> like, did she have a job? But now she's like, now she's at like some reporting. Probably because that's what that's how you hide Superman glasses. Then, like, because that was always my thing. I always looked at She-Hulk as like the Phoenix Wright of the MCU. Like, I really didn't. I was like, so she, 
she didn't get her powers the same way as Hulk, and she's a lawyer. Like, how do you make that? Uh, <laughs> I mean, Daredevil's a lawyer, and they made a movie, but it also sucked. So, what do, what do you do? Oh, that was my solo movie. What? Which could also feed into my Birds of Prey thing. Electra. Electra, it's possible. I I see it more as a Netflix one, but it's there's a way they do that character. They're introducing right. <laughs> so many characters in like Daredevil and stuff that it's going to be hard to make them all Netflix originals. I mean, I guess it's yeah. I still I still don't know who Jessica Jones. Is. I, me either. I watched <laughs> like she she's just got like a grab bag of powers. She to me can now. fly, I no but idea. I think they're taking that away from her, so she's not super. Or it'll be or it'll be the season finale, yeah, something like that. <laughs> but like this season, they haven't what Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and Daredevil. And then they're introducing next season into Daredevil, Punisher, and probably Elektra. That was another solo one I saw. Maybe a Punisher Pun- one. See, that's Punisher, I think it has to do with how... De- after Deadpool yeah, is after rated Deadpool, R. I think that's what it might, depends on. Be. I mean, the other Punisher movies were rated R too. But. but I don't know if Marvel's willing... See, like you said, I don't know if they're willing to take that risk to make a rated R movie. Even though that's the only way you can make a Punisher. Yeah, not, not Marvel. <laughs> Fox. Foxwood. <laughs> yeah, Foxwood, because <laughs> everyone... Yeah. they. Because they need they it. released that trailer or leaked the trailer of dead that Deadpool footage, and everyone's like, "I need this now." <laughs> yeah, no, well, that's because it's Deadpool. Like, I bet, I bet, like, if originally if they made it, because like you can't have Deadpool not break the fourth wall. He never did it in the Origins Wolverine no, movie. Well, he sharpened his swords and then lost his soul, <laughs> <laughs> and that that was the entire run of Deadpool. Yep. I would like to see kind of a, a Deadpool Spider Man one. That would be cool. Yep. But that's, that's that that has to do with Fox and Marvel working together. Yeah, and that's yeah. I think that's a possibility. If Spider Man does, it all depends on how, the, like you said, the I forget what you, what one you were talking about, but like it depends on oh it, it depends on how Suicide Squad does. It, it also depends until we get like a a different one. It, just, it depends uh-huh. how Spider Man is. Spider Man like outsells like Apocalypse or something like that or. Gross is more yeah, money. Yeah, than sorry. You. <laughs> or like gets to like Avengers numbers, then I could see Fox being like, "We can definitely work something out. We'll get over it." Like, yeah, which should have been the plan in the beginning. Uh, we're struggling, guys. Should I we mean the original? Try to make some money. The original X Men movies <laughs> weren't. I mean, X Three wasn't that good, I guess. But X One was pretty good. It, it, it was not. <laughs> X One was good. X Two was yeah, better. Three. X Three was a joke. X Men Wolverine. <laughs> Or, was even more of a joke. Yeah, and then the Bell Wolverine was it wasn't terrible, but The Wolverine would I would say is a solid B First movie. class and Days of Future Past were amazing. But Days of Future Past was amazing, even though it was pretty much Terminator yeah, 2. But um first first class I really didn't care much, but that's because they, they did the thing where they threw in too many obscure yep. people. Banshee, don't don't <laughs> care. The the butterfly wing chick. Don't see, care. See, I can see those movies. Man, that that guy has gills. Don't care. <laughs> I could see those movies changing into X Men movies, possibly, but that that's like everything would have to go right for that to even happen. So it's not even like really a possibility. Yeah. Well, X Men, I think you need to have you need to. I, I don't know that you you need to simplify it. It's so, this whole thing like we need to get into that sweet spot of how many characters can we throw in there because the X Men is huge anyway. So it would be so nice for Marvel I mean, to, have have them. to have them. You have to have like the big. I would say the big five, probably, like Wolverine, Jean Grey, Cyclops, Storm, and probably Beast. It would be so nice for and them then, to be able to interact with, like, Marvel characters, like the MCU, is basically what I'm getting at. Yeah, okay. It's, imagine all the possibilities if they had every single one of their characters. There, there could be, like, a Deadpool Spider-Man movie. There could be a Hulk and fucking Wolverine movie. Like, so many yep. good things could happen from that. Good. Would be awesome, and I don't see how Fox isn't like. There's so much. I money. still feel like they would shell out the solo movies, though. Probably they would probably stick to like an X Men. Uh, well, I consider the X Men movies like solo movies, kind of, even though it's not really. But then, then solo solo movies in what turn? Because oh, I don't, I don't never see them doing like a Cyclops movie or like a Beast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no, yeah. So they, they come as a yeah. As a that, that's deal. like the same with like the Fantastic yeah. Four. Like that's Wolverine is the only one that you really yeah. do. Unless, yeah, because even if you did like a Cyclops Gene thing or something, yeah. like a Cyclops Gene and Emma Fro- well, that movie would have been <laughs> terrible because that would just been a love triangle the entire fucking movie. That would have been. But like, don't, don't listen to me. I'm starting to hit my <laughs> hit my my. Cap. There's so many things, like so many groups that are like those are they have to be together. Like Fantastic Four have to be Fantastic Four. You're not gonna make a thing yeah. movie. <laughs> that, that would just be the Hulk, sure. I guess. You, yeah, even though we want to see the thing fight yeah, Hulk, but that's definitely like. 
But then it would get to a point where Avengers movies would be out. I don't know. How would they manage an Avenger movie if they had all their properties? Four pictures on the same screen. <laughs> Can't. Three fights and then one for exposition. Because <laughs> how would they pick and choose characters? That'd be so, that would make that'd be crazy actually. What if they had they everybody? Had all their characters. They all like all the characters. They'd have to pick up find a story that works with three. <sighs> That's which I, I'm trying to think of. They'd have to make like the perfect Avenger team, which would have to be like Wolverine, Hulk. I mean, I'm thinking like an Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, but then. I feel like Black Widow would just be like in the, in between a boys' fight that whole movie, so that's yeah, unfair like to her. Again. Find her way right out of the movie if it was <laughs> if they had yeah. all the characters. Uh, well, Spider Man, Venom, Carnage, I still like. Oh, that's so. Uh, Spider Man and Deadpool, but I don't know who you who you triple up on that one. Punisher, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, Spider Man. I think that's how Punisher got like revealed. Right? Was in a Spider Man's comic. I think so. They fight in the same it's... area, I believe, and. So then, you, like, you have the Punisher trying to kill somebody in New York City or something, and then, like, I don't know how you introduce Deadpool in there, but, like, Deadpool gets his ass, like, his arm chopped off by Punisher or something, and then, like, <laughs> the, the, Spider-Man and uh, Deadpool have to team up to, like, take him out or something. There is a lot of it would be that would be, like a, that would be, like, a kid's movie, probably. I think, but... be a, I think we're going to end it here, because we've been going for pretty long. And my ideas are getting worse <laughs> after the I, I mean, there's so many choices where you can't really be wrong I know. but it's just there's so much they can do yeah you'd have to make it the part i'm struggling with is the yeah. plot r around the three characters mm -hmm. i'm picking all right so let us know down in the comments what you think the three unnamed marvel movies are going to be we've also uploaded this podcast to the itunes podcast app so check that out if you just want to listen to it while you're at work or something like that and let us know down in the comments what else you'd like to hear us talk about topics for next week's show or some other week i guess but anyways if you have any any movie pitches, <laughs> I, I want to hear. You're probably them. better at plots than we are because we have no idea. But uh, anyways, <laughs> thanks for listening. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.